Good morning, YouTube. This is Chuck Gentles, and I'm going to welcome you if you're new to the channel and if you're not new to the channel. I'm just glad to have you come and stop by and, and watch this video. Uh, as you can see, there's something melting up on the screen. So, anyhow, you can tell by the title what we're going to do. We're going to be uh, doing some remelts of some old copper bars, or I'm sorry, aluminum bars. These are aluminum bars. And I've done them before, and they're kind of fun to watch. So, anyhow, I hope you like it. We're going to give this a go this morning. Okay, we're also running... PSI. Uh, we went to crucible coach for a while. Give it about five minutes or so. Make sure there's no moisture in it. Then we'll throw the aluminum in and get the melting. Let's see. I didn't show you this. Alright guys, we're uh, just about ready to put some aluminum in there. You can see here, uh, it's nice and red. Um, get a little bit closer in, maybe. Maybe you can see that a little bit better. There you go. So that's the foundry. I've got the apron on. I don't have any gloves or respirator yet. I don't have any metal in there, so we're going to put some metal in. I just moved up to 20%. So we're going to get this up to go. I can't see those in there, but that doesn't mean anything, so... Alright, be back. 
All right, guys, I preheated the fire brick. So now, check these. And about 255. About 260 on the apple. Take the pick those up, put them on the fire brick. Take the dross out of that. Good to go. Get this third one in, but we're going to give it a go. And it's not too easy, so who knows what will happen. There we go. There's three little bars. Success! That's just pretty good. Everything is hot. Got the dross off the top. And look at this third bar. How shiny that is compared to these two. Don't know why that is, other than it was farther down in the mold. In the crucible, I'm sorry. I'll get some water and we'll uh, cool them off. Do a little clean up, see if we can't get a shiny bar this time. All right, there's our trusty can of water. So we'll try to get these bars out of there and into it. Do a big guy first. This is a whole set of tongs. Here goes one. Here's the little one. And here's the giant economy size. Alrighty. So that's all three. That was a really good pour, really fast. I think uh, melt time was like 10 minutes. And it was just done. The aluminum went so quick. You know, we still got the 
the dregs in here, but I think maybe that'll when that cools that'll pull out. Okay, so that being the case, I'll get that out of there and try to clean up maybe that small bar first, but you can see by the steam coming off that can that water's really hot now, so give me a minute, I'll be back. Guys, here we are, uh, one pound five ounces. So I lost a little, but I think I lost it here and with the dross that's laying over there on that brick when I skimmed the top. But this one I tried buffing out a little bit. <coughs> the, this bar and this bar are just wire wheeled. Let me see if I can get a little closer maybe. But the one in the middle is also wire wheeled, but in here this top is just like a piece of glass now it's but with that there you know it's no good but so these are polishable I don't know that I'll spend the time uh, to do it though so anyhow all right guys I've been looking for a way to uh, polish these aluminum bars when they're done you know we just did this one and he's he's really coarse all around on this one got some lumps and bumps and and I want to sand it down and maybe do a little polish work on it. And But if you put it in this vise, you can see these jaws, they got these teeth on it. And they will leave marks in the aluminum. So what I finally come up with an idea is I'm going to use, I made these guards that covers the teeth. Obviously, I've used these before, and they're a little beat up, so I didn't think about it before, but I'm thinking about it now. So if we want to do like this edge, we can still do it here. You don't have to hold it by hand. Just crank her down in there, and there it is. I mean, it's right there. That'll work just perfect, and we'll get... Uh, Maybe sit up here and do a little sanding on this just to see how good it's going to work. Be back. Okay, so I went on Amazon. I wanted to get an orbital sander because if you use a belt sander like my big six inch, um, it makes little scratches in the aluminum. And then when you start doing your fine sanding, it gets really hard to get those scratches out. So I bought this orbital sander. On Amazon and I can't remember it wasn't very much thirty dollars thirty six dollars and got these sanding discs with it um, and there's all different sizes a couple of each uh, now I'll start out with the 60 and we'll go to the I think it's a 120 yeah there's a 120 get, get done with the 120 Anyhow, you'll see what I'm getting at. We'll go up through this whole progression. I think these are 240s here. Yeah, that's a 240. And if you look at this one, I'm not sure I'm going all this far, but unless I'm going to polish this thing, and I don't know that I'm going to do that, but that's a 1,000. And it's it's like not having a, it's like just using paper. It's so smooth. And they, they go up to like, I think 3,000 on these, so. They're just a felt back, and then it has like little hooks on here, uh, almost like a Velcro, and it grabs this disc and holds it on there, and it works good. Not a problem with it. So anyhow, that's what I'm going to do some sanding on this with, just to see how it works. And I've tried it on another bar, and it was pretty good, but my problem was I couldn't hang on to it. I couldn't hang on to the bar and I was trying to hold it on the bench and sand it on the top and on the sides and uh, it was just a mess so anyhow we're going to go this way now and see what that does okay so uh, we're going to start out with a 60 60 grit uh, this has the uh, catcher thingy here I don't know how good these are for catching but we'll give it a shot here and try See what it does.
too bad. <coughs> Actually, it's pretty impressive. It's, uh, there's not a scratch in that, and there's hardly any dust here. There's just a little bit on that backside. <coughs> but it looks pretty good. I, suppose, I think you can see that top, can't you? Let's go look. So it looks like it's just got a sand kind of finish on it. It's a little rough yet, but that's a 60 grit. By the time you get to 1,000, that'll be like a piece of glass. So I think that's going to work good to hold those. And it shouldn't scar the other side or anything. So I think I'll do a little bit of this and see what that bar looks like in a little bit. Be back. All right, guys, I'm not going to show any more of this, but you can see right here on the top where that big chunk was laying here. I got that off. And all the sides I've just done with the with this one. Uh, this setup works good with the vise and the vise jaws. But this, if you got to take a lot down, like I've got a huge depression here and a big uh, outcropping here that I've got to take this part down, you'll want to use a palm sander or a belt sander or something like that. And you're going to get scratches and uh, then take the 60 on the the orbital sander and go over where the scratches were and it'll take all the scratches out plus you'll cut that metal a lot faster but it, both things work this uh, you'd like to see part of the results and if I uh, get a chance I will try to polish this thing out too uh, I haven't polished this bar up yet I've just got it where it looks like a decent bar now so all right be back If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe, give it a great comment, come back again. And thanks again guys for watching. Some of these are uh, not the best videos in the world, but uh, you know, it keeps you off the streets. Thanks so much for watching.